circle in a quarter circle. We want to find the area of this region. Our shape is as such a quarter circle right here. A, B, C, that quarter circle has it inscribed, smaller circle inside of it, and I have some tangent points D, F, and E right here. One thing we're given is the radius of our inscribed circle or little circle is square root of two. With just that information, can we find the area of our shaded region? Pause this video, see if you can solve it, but as always, I'm gonna dive in and show you how to solve this problem. All right, so our shaded region right here, we had a little A and notice it, it's kind of symmetrical, all right? It is actually symmetrical because we have an inscribed circle to the region down here. So I'm gonna label these two regions, each one as X for purposes here. So the area of our region DCF, kind of this little thing here, DCF is equal to our area of DAE that region, and I'm gonna call it, well, X. I'm gonna say the area of our circle, our circle O, so area of circle O, let's call that Y. And then the area that's left over here, this other region, our area of our region EFB, let's call that Z here. So we have some consistency when we're referring to areas as variables. Now, one thing with Y, well, Y represents the area of circle zero, which we call little r as our radius. Let's call the radius DB of our big circle, let's call that big R. So we have a reference of our big circle. So big R is me referring to our you know, big circle radius and little r will be the little circle's radius, all right? Well, the overall area of this whole quarter circle can be summed up, well, of all the parts. We have xx, so 2x, plus our region y, plus our region z, and that is equal to the total area of our quarter, quarter circle, which is, area of the form of the circle, pi r squared over 4. It's a quarter circle, so pi big R squared over, well, four, being a quarter circle. So now let's go create some lines. I'm gonna create, while well, the radius of our little circle here connects to F, and it also connects to E. And these are points of tangency, and the tangent to a circle theorem states that these create right angles. Right angle, right angle, and we have right angle here. Each one of these is equivalent to the radius, 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 and since it's a square, EB is also the length of a little radius and radius. So from now here, I can connect O to B, and what do we have? OB, well OB creates a right triangle and Pythagorean theorem can help us find the length of OB. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So R squared plus an R squared equals an O, B, that length, squared. Well, R is the square root of two. So we have square root of two squared plus square root of two squared equals O, B squared. Square root of two squared is a two. Two plus two, same thing, equals O, B squared. Two plus two is a four, equals O, B squared. Square root both sides here and O, B, it's just two. Well, that's always nice to see. Well, if OB has a length of two, we can continue that line all the way to D. Doing so, right? Tangent point right there, but we know what the radius, right? Here now is the radius of the little circle is a square root of two. So the length of D to B, which is big R, is two plus plus square root of two. Let's find the area of Z. The area here of Z is equal to the area of this square, area of the square, which is R squared, minus the quarter circle, right? So the whole square minus that quarter circle, and the quarter circle is pi R squared 
over four. Well, luckily for us, we know what R is, square root of two. So Z equals the square root of two squared minus pi, square root of two all squared over four. And let's simplify that. Square root of two squared is a two, minus square root of two squared is a two, right? Right there, two. And then divide by four gives me a two. So we have a pi over two here. So Z is equal to two minus pi over two. And now let's go plug it into this lovely equation, what we have. So I'm gonna flip it around. I'm gonna put the pi r squared over four first here. So pi big R squared over four is equal to two X plus, well, instead of two Y, I'm sorry, instead of Y, the area of the region, we know the area of the little circle, which is a, uh, what is it, pi r squared. So pi, did I, did I find it already? Pi r squared, right there, plus our region z, which is 2 minus pi over 2. Now, r squared, which we already know is a square root of 2 squared, so it's going to be a 2 here, so we have a 2 pi right there. 2 pi is kind of saving space here. We have a 2 pi. Well, now from here, we can try to simplify and try to get x by itself. All right, well, big R we know as well. 2 plus square root of 2. So big R squared, let's do that right here so I have some space. Uh, 2 plus square root of 2 all squared comes out to be a, uh, what did I say? It's, it's a simplified it here for you. 6 plus 4 square root of 2. Okay? So have it out here. We have for our R. We have distributing it out. Well, let's go distribute. Yeah, six pi plus four square root two pi all over four equals a two x plus a two pi plus a two minus pi over two. And then from here, I end up multiplying both sides of the equation by four. All right, let's see if I have to raise, I'm hoping I don't. All right, multiply everything by four, cancels out this, and what do we have on the, well, so the left side, we have a six pi plus a four square root two pi equals, oh, I'm out of room. Let's go erase some stuff here. All right, multiplying that out, we have a six pi plus a four square root two pi is equal to an 8x plus an 8 pi plus an 8, multiplying all out, minus 4 here is a 2 pi. All right, so we got a lot of pi's and x's. We need to combine our like terms. Well, luckily for us, 8 pi minus 2 pi gives me a 6 pi and cancels out with that 6 pi. From there, let's bring that 8 over to both sides, and we have a four square root of two pi minus eight equals an eight x. Divide both sides by eight, and we get x by itself, which is, divide that out, boom, 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 we have a square root two over two pi minus a one. And that's x equals the area units squared of our region, and if we write that as a decimal, that's approximately 1.2214 four units squared, but I always prefer the pi version. So again, our area of our shaded region, just one of the x's, which we got here, is square root two over two pi minus one units squared. Did you get that answer? If you did, way to go. If you didn't, but you learned something, hey, that's what the whole point is here. So as always here, thanks for watching.